Hello friends, welcome to our new video of Netherlands series. In this video, we will take you to the old windmill area of Amsterdam called as Zanseshan. Also, we will take you to the famous cheese factory where we can try different varieties of cheeses and we will also try to cover the traditional wooden shoe making workshop. So let's begin. There are two ways to reach Zanseshan village. First, you can take the bus number 391 from Amsterdam Central. A round trip ticket for it will cost around 11.5 euros and takes about 45 minutes. Second, you can take train from Amsterdam Slotdijk station. A round trip ticket will cost 6.4 euros and takes around 15 minutes. I would recommend to go by train as it's cheaper compared to bus and you will get panoramic view of all windmills in the area from the bridge on Zan River. So guys, currently we are in Amsterdam Sulatadijk station. This is the main entrance of the station and you can buy train tickets from OV services and tickets office or buy tickets from these yellow machines. A round trip ticket to Zansechan from here will cost around 6.4 euros. It takes 12 minutes and 3 stops to reach Zandai Zansishan station. You will find a lot of people going towards windmill so you can just follow them. And once you are out of the station you will find a big map of the area showing walking and cycling routes of nearby attractions. From here you will have to stroll for about 15 minutes to reach the old windmills. This is a cocoa factory, a chocolate factory. This is a very nice smell of chocolate in the whole area. So it feels like we are going to the chocolate land. This smell which you are seeing here is a grinding mill which grinds grains occasionally. So guys this is the Zan river which we are crossing right now. And this is the panoramic view which I was referring earlier in the video. So, वहाँ पर हैं windmills जिन्हें देखने के लिए हम आए हैं. It's a beautiful town. बहुत ही सुंदर लग रहा है यहाँ पर सब कुछ और आज बहुत ठंड है, cloudy weather है, थोड़ी बारिश भी हुई है. How is your experience? You feeling cold? बहुत ठंडी है, बारिश भी हो रही है, पूरा क्लाउडी वेदर है, हवा भी बहुत। As soon as you cross the bridge, you will start seeing traditional Dutch style wooden houses. Many of these buildings are now museums, restaurants, workshops, or gift shops. Zansishan has around 7 mills. The windmill which you are seeing right now is a mustard mill. It grinds mustard and you can buy mustard products from the shop attached to it. So guys here is the docking platform from where you can have a good view of the windmills. And here we have made some poses for our Instagram account. And uh, guys, if you have not followed me on Instagram, then you can check out the link below. Next windmill in front is a sawmill.
and here is another windmill which is a museum as well it is used to grind chalk which is further used to make pigments for paints you can go to the top as well and get a panoramic view of the area however there is a long queue to enter so probably we are skipping it as of now and this next windmill here is used for grinding ripe seeds to make vegetable oil it is the only oil mill here and it is still in operation and this one is a sawmill you can see timber here so this is the perfect example of using the renewable energy for different purposes here the wind energy is used for grinding sawing and oil processing so guys now we are entering to the cheese factory there is no entry fees for it and here you can see the traditional cheese making process These yellow round blocks of cheeses are called Gouda cheese which is a specialty of Netherlands. Here you can also taste the wide variety of cheeses. There is a lavender flavor cheese, red chili pepper cheese and coconut flavor cheese and you know so many varieties. So many flavors are available and if you like you can buy as well. Guys, Netherlands is also famous for its wooden shoes which is called as clock shoes and now we are entering the clock shoe museum. Here you can see the demonstration of clock shoe making process. First of all the type of wood that we use to make wooden shoe poplar or willow. This is a piece of poplar. Back in the days all wooden shoes were made by hand. They used a large pole knife in the outside shape of the shoe. Several sizes of so-called spoons groups for the inside, for sheet of the liver ball for the inside. This was really hard work, took around two and a half to three hours if you were a skilled shoemaker. And nowadays on the machines only five minutes. This machine will make the outside shape, works the same way as duplicating a key, we're going to make an exact copy of a model. Same kind of system for the inside, again a copy of the model. Still not finished, the shoe is still quite wet. Oh. This is all water from the sea. <laughs> That's how we make wooden shoes. Have fun and go safe. And if you want, you can purchase them as well. This shop has variety of colors, sizes, and designs of clock shoes. And here you can get uh, souvenirs as well. So many things are available.
are now going back and uh, unfortunately we found the bridge was open i guess a big ship would have passed earlier or might be arriving so we have to wait here for some time Okay guys so we just found out uh, that uh, there was some technical problem with the bridge one side was not getting closed properly so we walked through the other side of the bridge so that's it guys for this video hope you enjoyed it and please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you